get to start over, all of us. I'm not splitting up again. We don't know what's coming next. When we get to Washington, we will make the dead die and the living will have this world again. You join us and we go to Washington and cure this thing. That's, that's kind of the tone for the whole season. It's dark, it's gritty, it's wild. People are going to love it. I just hope you understand that we didn't want to hurt you. It's it's going to be it's going to be dark, but it's also going to be lit with some inner hope. The potential that there's a cure. They have a mission now. They're not just wandering. They're on the road with a reason. Once they survive terminus, of course, which is which is a, a bit of a feat in and of itself. There is no letdown. There is no slowdown. You know, we're we're always out there, pedal to the metal. This is a big episode for me. I directed the season premiere last year, but it was very different because that episode, there was a time jump of about eight months. But this episode picks up literally hours after the season finale of season four. So knowing that, um, it, uh, I feel like just jumping right back into the story. This is the first time we ended on a cliffhanger since season one. But needless to say, you will not be disappointed. Every sacrifice we make needs to be for the greater good. In here, you're not the greater good. You're part of a system. And I think this show has shown that, you know, it is, it's a show about the characters. Um, it's not just about shock value and that, and that that is universal. It's universal with viewers in the United States and throughout the world. No matter what anyone says. No matter what you think. Where are people?